and welcome to Talk of the Town. With me now are two special guests. We have Brandon Carter. He is chef, and he is also a partner with Farm Hospitality. We have another chef with us, too, Annie Coleman, and we're talking today about the Wildflower Cafe that will be opening, actually, on uh, March the, f uh, the March the 1st at Telfair Museums in Savannah. So welcome, and let's begin with you, Brandon. Uh, tell us a little bit about Farm Hospitality and how this partnership started with Telfair. Um, so, uh, you know, Farm Hospitality started about uh, six years ago um, with, with Farm, uh, our flagship restaurant in, in Bluffton. that's uh, down in the promenade in Old Town. Um, about two, a little over two years ago, we uh, we branched out and uh, we we opened up a, a new restaurant in Savannah called Common Thread. Um, both restaurants have been well received by the community and wildly successful. Um, you know, we're we're fortunate in that in that aspect. Um, we also have uh, Strange Bird, which are, is our truck. Uh, and soon to be brick and mortar. Um, but the big news I think today is uh, is tomorrow we uh, we launch a, a new concept uh, called Wildflower Cafe uh, that's in the uh, the Jepson Center at Telfair Museum. It sounds very exciting, very healthy food, interesting menu, wonderful decor. So Annie, tell us a little bit about it. You'll be the the executive chef there. Yes. Um, so um, I've had the opportunity to, to oversee and grow the programs, both front and back of house. Um, so we have just a really wonderful staff that's ready to produce some some great food um, for everyone in the area. Um, we're going to be focusing on just like really healthy, fresh bites. Um, sourcing from local farms is a huge priority and just really good food that you can feel good about going back to work and feel energized and ready for the rest of the day. And so, you know, from looking at my notes, it is kind of an infusion right there with the museum with color and art and, and all. So talk about that piece of it. Yes, it's a really beautiful space. Um, if you haven't been, it uh, has huge, tall ceilings, beautiful glass walls, um, a lot of light pours in, and it's, it's just a beautiful canvas to, to put some colorful plates down on. And, and just infuse more color into that space. Most of the walls are, are really light in color, so I'm excited to just have everything pop and, and feel fresh and, and new in that space. Can you give us a couple, a couple of examples of what we could have for lunch? Because it's going to be open from 11 to four. So what might the fair be? Um, so we're, we're focused on um, pretty much we're gonna have bowls, so we'll have some really wonderful grain bowls. We're getting our grains from Anson Mills in South Carolina. Um, a lot of different types of rice, some sorghum, and pairing that with um, everything from mushrooms to roasted vegetables, a really delicious benny seed, um, creamy dressing. Um, we'll also have um, a flatbread selection, um, have a chicken salad. It's a little more of a classic chicken salad with a, a fun twist. Um, and some more like roasted mushrooms, some really delicious pickles and that kind of thing. Um, and just like crunchy slaw. Yummy. Texture <laughs> yeah. interesting. Like a lot of, it's it's kind of a, this like, this sensory explosion, mm -hmm. uh, you know, going on. Now, Brandon, how did you and Annie meet? Um, how did we meet? Uh, we met <laughs> years ago when I was, I um, was a pastry chef up in DC. Okay. Um, but I'm actually from, I'm from Beaufort and I would come down every year for a, for a, a food and music festival. Um, and his restaurant farm was, was kind enough to reach out and invite me in for brunch um, one of those times. Yeah, that so I, I met him and, uh, and his wife, Jessica, who's also a partner. Um, and, you know, just kind of kept running into them over the years. Um, and then I later was married and uh, and my husband and I both came down and are both working with the group and yeah. I, I really connected with with their mission and and them working with local farms and also just the the culture that they have in their kitchen and, and the support they give to their staff so I was really happy to kind of find a home with their group. You I think it was really it was just meant to be. It was it was synergy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Congratulations on the opening of Wildflower Cafe at the Telfair Museums on March the 1st and your partnership and your company, Farm Hospitality, that's continuing to serve our community. So nice to meet you, Brandon and Annie, and good luck. Thank 